There's been a lot of fun activity in the Copper Country this summer, and it appears this weekend will be no different. On Sunday, the Copper Shores Community Health Foundation invites the area to its annual community picnic. This year, the organization will travel to Amik. With more on how the community picnic includes more than just fun times and delicious food, is Keweenaw Bureau reporter Thomas Fournier. The first year, Copper Shores met at Centennial Park in Chassel, and last year the organization invited the community to the beautiful waterfront in Lance. This year, the group plans to travel north of their Hancock headquarters and up to Al Meeks Gabriel Chop Park for their 2024 Copper Shores Community Picnic. Communications and Donor Relations Director Michael Babcock says that each year the event continues to grow and share more resources with the local community. Yeah, this year we have, I think it's 35 total vendors that will be set up under the gazebos, under the tents here. Um, most of them are nonprofit organizations with the idea that we want people in our community to get to know the services that they offer people. Um, but we'll also have some other organizations, a couple churches that will be here set up, um, as well as just some other um, service industries that are going to be here to give people a chance to know what's available to them. And everybody who will be here is somebody who can help people that live here in, in Amik and uh, people in Northern Houghton County. The Copper Shores Community Health Foundation's hidden goal of the event is to share information with the community about various resources in the region. The day often includes a lot of fun games and activities for families to enjoy a day under the sun in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Uh, I think the biggest thing that people take away when they come here is they're just shocked at how many people are available in our community to help them. How many of these nonprofits and other organizations are available to help them with whatever they need help with, whether it's food shortages, helping with bills, helping with um, or some kind of organization, Habitat for Humanity type things. There's so many people that are available to help. And when you come to an event like this, you, you just are shocked by how many of them there are and what they're available to do. And we make it, um, we, give, we give a prize for people to go out and talk to people so every, every time you stop by one of the booths, you get a ticket, and we'll have some wonderful prizes that are donated by local vendors, um, so they make it so that people have a reason to go talk to them. There's an excuse to go have those kind of conversations, and the nonprofits that come, they're ready for it. Um, they're excited to come back year after year because they get to meet so many people and get to tell them about the mission that they have going on within their organization. The Copper Shores Community Picnic in Amik this Sunday will include more than 30 nonprofit organizations and community action agencies working for the people of the Upper Peninsula. During the event, attendees can collect special tickets from each group they spend time with and register for several prize giveaways during the day. The Copper Shores Community Picnic will also include a community meal with the local businesses. The community picnic will begin at 12 p.m. on Sunday and run until 3 p.m. Those interested in finding more details for the Copper Shores Community Picnic can find more information at abc10up.com. With ABC 10 and CW5, this is Thomas Fournier.